Okay, so interpreting a p-value. So here we are. Um, the, the standard deviation used to be 15, and we're wondering, um, do we have enough data to say that, to conclude that it's less than 15, which is better because we want less variability. So we make, we make our 50 shots with a new 7 iron, and we get S sub X standard, sample standard deviation of 10.9 yards. So th is that a good thing? Does it look like it's less than 15? Yes. Okay, yes, but is it, is it that far enough lower that we can conclude that it really is less, or is it so close to 15 that maybe just by random chance he was just having a better day and he happened to get 10.9 yards, but it doesn't really mean anything? That's our, that's our big question we want to ask. So what the p-value tells you is that if we assume the, the real standard deviation is, is 15, it tells you the likelihood that we would get that outcome with our sample. It tells you the likelihood that we would actually get 10.9 yards if the real true standard deviation was 15. So how likely is that to happen? It's 0.2%, right? It's, it's really not, not very likely to happen. Um, so therefore, we can conclude that the standard deviation is less than 15. Because if we assumed that it was 15, we, there's so little likelihood that we would actually get a standard deviation of 10.9 yards that we reject the null hypothesis and conclude that um, the standard deviation is, is less than 15. Because the probability would be so low. Now, how do you actually find this p-value? You do not need to concern yourself at all right now. That's, that's later. So you'll be given the p-value. So interpret the p-value in context then um, is what we mean is that um, if the true standard deviation, if the true standard deviation were, and it used, it's whatever it is in the null hypothesis, were 15 yards, um, then there is only a 0.2% chance um, our sample our sample would have a standard deviation of 10.9 yards by by random chance So not not very likely. So um, so do we have convincing evidence against the null hypothesis? Yes. And so here's kind of the formula. You're you're always going to write two sentences. So since first the first sentence doesn't have to be in context. So since um, the p value is very small, and we're just going to assume the, the less than 5%, like we've talked about before. So since the, the p-value is, is very small, we want a small p-value. Um, we can reject h naught. You either reject h naught or you fail to reject h naught. Hopefully, you, you can reject it. If you fail to reject it, then your study is inconclusive. So, so we can reject um, H naught. Now, what? So you have to say what the heck that means in context, because that sentence could apply to a lot of things. Um, so there's convincing evidence that. Um, so. Um, the true um, sigma is what. We can conclude that the true value of the standard deviation is with the new club, true sigma with new seven iron is, is smaller than 15 yards. I should do units, 15 yards. 